Now it's time to call in beauty expert Shobana Lakavali for a foolproof guide on how to give our eyebrows the TLC they all deserve. Okay, Shobana, how do we prep for this? Okay, so three points. Make sure you get yourself into natural light. You wanna see everything that you're doing so you don't over pluck or pinch yourself. Ideally, you would do this after you've showered because at that time, your pores or your follicles, those tiny openings all over your face will be open and your hairs will actually slip out more easily, which means that it's gonna be less painful. And I would recommend no magnifying mirrors. Really wanna focus on the entire brow. Now you've also mentioned that some of us might be a little bit sensitive, so Aura Gel might be something to put on the area or maybe have some ice. Absolutely, so uh, one of our viewers actually recommended it. Aura Gel is usually used for uh, teeth ache, but it can also be used as a numbing treatment for your eyebrows. And after you're done um, with your tweezing, you can always use ice witch hazel or aloe vera to desensitize and de-pain <laughs> the area. Yes, the de-paining, that's very, very important. I want to talk about shape now because that's what we're all trying to achieve. We're all looking for sort of that, you know, that beautiful raised arch. How do we get that? For sure. So the goal of this tutorial is to make sure that you preserve your brows. Um, we don't want to have any like brow mishaps at this point. And so the way you're going to determine your best and ideal shape is by taking a brow pencil such as this, placing it in the dimple of your nose and aligning it upwards in front of your brow. This is where your brow should actually start. If your brows are too short, it can actually make the center area look a lot wider. Secondly, we want to determine the arch. This is the highest point of the brow, so it's really important for us to get it in check because it gives us an instant facelift and it lets us work with what nature or mother nature has given us. So again, using that same brow pencil, we're going to align it at the side of our nose, take it through our actual eye, and this is where your arch should actually be and this is the bottom of the arch. Last but not least, the ends. Now the length of your eyebrow is very, very important. If they're too long, it can cause your eyebrows to droop, or if they're too short, it can cause an imbalance in your whole facial structure. You know that eyebrows are really important in framing our face and giving us that beautiful lift. So in order to determine the length, place the brow pencil on the end of your nose again, align it with the end of your eye, and Voila, this is the end of your brow. So now you have some dots that you can connect so we can determine where you will tweeze and where you won't tweeze. Stop yourself from being compelled to going down the road of 1992 and over tweezing because it's really hard to come back from that. What can you tell us about that? Right now I am just connecting the dots such as so. so. I'm using feather-like strokes and just connecting the dots so you get a really nice brow shape. I don't, I can tweeze anywhere between the lines or around the lines. You don't want to tweeze within the lines. Now, if there is a brow that you're unsure about, just leave it. Do not even touch it. I'm gonna go ahead now with a slanted tweezer. Love these because they really lay nicely on the contours of your face. Hold your skin tight so you don't get any pinches and remove each hair, one hair at a time from the base. You really want to get each hair at the root so that you avoid regrowth fast and you avoid any ingrowns. Okay, Shobana, now that we've got the beautiful shape, how do we fill them in? So I'm actually going to start by using a brow pencil again and I'm going to fill in all of this space. The key is to use short feather like strokes, especially if you have lots of gaps. And now once I fill this in, you can always go in with a razor. This is a facial razor. And what this does is it gets rid of any facial hairs around your brows to give you a really beautiful, clean brow look like you just came from a professional. All you have to do again is hold your skin taut, but just be careful, you don't wanna to go too crazy with this. When I first used this, I took off some of my arch, so you definitely don't wanna do that. <laughs> now, if you're someone that has hair, but it's a little bit more sparse, you can always try using a uh, eyeshadow powder or an eyebrow powder, just to create a shadow underneath your brows. You don't necessarily have to use a pencil. Um, and if you're someone that just has a lot of grays, 
or you just want to give yourself a little bit of a color lift, use a colored gel. You know, you can always add a colored gel to really give you a pick-me-up in the texture as well as the color. There's so many different products out there for everybody. But the key is when you are applying the product, build it up, start with little, um, and see where to go with it. Great tip, Shobana.